when it actually is cool enough to be able to sip comfortably, then sip it. Two to three cups of tea a day actually has been shown to be beneficial for many different types of conditions. What if I told you that just one simple drink could help fight against cancer and heal your body from the inside out? Sounds unbelievable, right? Well, today we're diving into the incredible research of Dr. William Lee, world-renowned scientist and medical doctor who has uncovered how this powerful drink can work wonders for your health. Stay tuned. Dr. William Lee is a renowned physician, researcher, and author known for his work in angiogenesis, which is the process that enables cancer growth. He's been exploring how certain foods and drinks can boost the body's defenses against disease. One of the key mechanisms behind cancer-fighting foods is angiogenesis. It's our body's natural way of growing and maintaining healthy blood vessels. But when angiogenesis is out of balance, it can fuel diseases like cancer. The good news? We can regulate this process through our diet. And the one drink that's been scientifically proven to help fight cancer is green tea. Yes, this ancient drink isn't just for relaxation. It's packed with epigallocatech and gallate, EGCG, a powerful antioxidant that blocks tumor growth and boosts immune function. Green tea contains catechins that have been shown to lower the risk of colon cancer, stomach cancer, esophageal cancer, cancers of the gut, actually, because you're sipping the green tea and it's flowing down uh, and uh, touching uh, your entire GI tract. Now, what's in green tea? Something called catechins, specifically EGCG, all right, Edward George, Charlie George. And this is actually something that I've studied. I'm a researcher. I have actually studied food as medicine in the lab, specifically green tea. And I can tell you that this is a natural chemical found in tea leaves um, that when you brew a cup of tea, the EGCG comes out uh, into the liquid. So whether you actually have tea bags, you have loose tea leaves, or you have some powdered tea, which is another form of getting it, and whether it is uh, green tea, whether it's matcha, you're all getting this catechin into your system. Green tea is a powerhouse beverage that has been scientifically shown to help starve cancer cells and support overall healing in the body. Dr. William Lee's groundbreaking research highlights how green tea works through a process called angiogenesis, which regulates blood vessel growth. Cancer cells thrive by hijacking the body's blood supply to grow and spread. However, the potent epigallocatechin gallate, EGCG, compound in green tea disrupts this process, cutting off the nutrients cancer cells need to survive. Studies have shown that drinking green tea daily can reduce the risk of multiple cancers, including breast, prostate, lung, and colorectal cancer. So, what does EGCG do in the body? Well, something quite amazing. Drinking tea has been shown by cancer researchers to lower inflammation, which is, of course, uh, one of the drivers for cancer. Green tea also boosts the immune system. Now. We all have cancers growing inside our body. It's a natural part of being alive. Uh, when our cells divide, uh, they make mistakes, and each of those tiny little mistakes is a microscopic cancer. But our immune system wings by, finds that microscopic cancer, and takes it out like a sniper. And so good, strong immunity is actually cancer fighting, and green tea actually does that as well. But the thing that I think is most remarkable is that the catechins found in green tea cut off the blood supply to tumors. Now, all tumors are harmless until they actually get a blood supply. And this is a process called tumor angiogenesis. Now, our normal cells, our normal tissues have angiogenesis. We need them in order to be able to heal our wounds. But tumors hijack this process, okay? And they actually feed themselves to get oxygen and nutrients. And when a cancer actually does that, that is actually what allows tumors to actually grow wildly. In fact, studies in the lab have shown that without a blood supply, tumors can't grow beyond about two millimeters in diameter. That's the size of the tip of a ballpoint pen. But the moment blood vessels can actually grow up and touch that tumor and feed it, 
that tumor can grow 16,000 times in just two weeks time, all right? So angiogenesis, which is normal for healing, good for our body, when tumors hijack it, it'll, the oxygen and nutrients allow the cancer to explode in growth. So tea containing the catechins cuts off the blood supply, prevents tumor angiogenesis, and that is one of the most powerful and important ways that green tea can actually be beneficial. Green tea, packed with powerful antioxidants like epigallocatechin gallate, EGCG, has been widely studied for its potential in cancer prevention and treatment. One of its key benefits is its ability to inhibit angiogenesis by blocking vascular endothelial growth factor and other pro-angiogenic signals. Green tea essentially starves cancer cells, slowing their spread. Additionally, it helps prevent DNA damage, encourages cancer cell death, and even enhances the effectiveness of chemotherapy. Now, I like to drink green tea um, every day. In fact, I have a cup of it right here. Walk the walk, and I find it really relaxing. Uh, I drink green tea uh, all throughout the day, especially in the evening. Uh, but green tea actually is something that is goes back tens of thousands of years. If you look at Asia, uh, tea na bushes, tea plants naturally grew there, uh, and they are hand-picked, they are dried under the sun, they are lightly roasted over uh, fire, and then the process takes off in order to be able to uh, convert them into different types of tea. You mix them with jasmine flowers for jasmine tea. You grind it into a powder to make matcha. You roast it deeper in, um, in order to be able to create black teas, which are also beneficial for your health, by the way. Not just green, but black is also good. Somewhere in between is uh, uh, oolong tea, which is kind of a medium tea. And then you can ferment tea. It's called pu'er, beautiful tea. Research has linked regular green tea consumption, about two to four cups a day, to a reduced risk of cancers, such as breast, prostate, and lung cancer. While fresh brewed tea is the best way to reap these benefits, it works even better when combined with a healthy diet. In essence, green tea isn't just a soothing drink. It's a natural shield against cancer, helping to keep our cells in check while fighting tumor growth at its core. Green tea has these anti-cancer benefits. So one of the questions is how much, uh, how do you actually make the green tea uh, and how much should you drink? Well, listen, I like using loose leaf tea. You can actually brew it in a pot with hot water. Don't ever drink uh, a tea with uh, boiling water you just put in there. That actually, there's that scalding liquid has been shown to increase the risk of cancer because you're injuring the esophagus. So do not do that. Let the tea cool down. And actually it takes that time of cooling down to also steep out the catechins. That's the little uh, tip for you. And if you're using a tea bag, you want to dunk the tea bag, all right, uh, in order to be able to shake out those catechins into the liquid. When it actually is uh, cool enough to be able to sip comfortably, then sip it. Two to three cups of tea a day actually has been shown to be beneficial for many different um, uh, types of conditions. But the most important thing that I like is that it tastes great and it's actually relaxing. So, if you want to take charge of your health, start with this simple step incorporate green tea into your daily routine. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more science-backed health tips. Stay healthy, stay empowered, and I'll see you in the next video.